Hey, what's going on everyone? It's 5speed here, and I'm bringing you guys another edition of Why Aren't You Playing Trying To? Uh, I had to say first off, for some reason, with the new graphics card I have installed in here, I can't play this game on very high settings. Not because the card can't handle it, but for some reason the game is just... It's too dark. It's like the brightness has been turned down. So, I had to set it down to medium, and for some reason that fixed all the lighting issues. Uh, so, it's not as good as it can look, but it's still going to look really good here. Uh, so, what is Trying To? Trying To is kind of a puzzle platformer with a little bit of combat mixed in. It's not really complicated. It's pretty simplistic combat. Uh, but it very much rewards you for exploration. Uh, and just damn does this game look good uh, I'm gonna show you guys just just look look at this game and just see how good this game looks I mean it's such a nice relief to play a game like this where all games you see nowadays are just big blobs of gray and brown and just depressing colors and, and even in this dark like, dungeon thing that I'm in it's still just gorgeous looking. Okay, so the premise of this game, as I said before, is that it's a puzzle platform, but you also play as three different characters. Uh, and you're in search of this thing called the Trine. So you play a wizard character, which you can switch to, and the wizard can make boxes of varying sizes, and he can levitate them. Now, he can also move certain objects around, as you can see here. I'm just clicking it and moving it. And I can move things around to help solve puzzles. Uh, and that's basically the wizard's task. You also can play a thief, rogue, archer type lady. Uh, and of course, her main ability is she fires arrows. She can also have, you know, different types of arrows, like fire arrows, and I'll get to that in a second. Uh, and her ability also is she can grapple. So if she has a, there's a certain surface she can reach onto, not every surface, but you can grapple onto it and swing. And uh, I'll get to that. I'll show that in a second. And then, of course, you have your warrior. He's your standard knight, you know, guy in shiny armor. He, you know, can defend against it. His main thing is combat. But he also has a big ol' hammer. And he can use that hammer to throw it to also break uh, down walls. He can use it uh, as well to hurt enemies and everything. If there's an area he wants to get to down the bottom, he can, bam, slam the ground like that. And uh, as you'll see in a little bit here, he also has a charge ability which you can use, uh, which I can sprint, and I can use that to get uh, get across gaps. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get into the game here. I'm going to show you guys like what uh, what I mean by like solving platforms and stuff. Okay, so acid obviously bad. Ah, that hurts. Okay, shouldn't have done that. Um, oh yes, if you die in the game. Uh, you'll go back to those little orbs right over there, you can see, uh, wherever you spawn. And if you can touch one of them, you'll have all your characters' health and, and their lives restored. So there is no, like, live system or anything like that. It's just, you die and you get to pick another character. But sometimes you need, like, a certain character to get somewhere. Alright, so we've got our first combat. As you can see, the combat's really simple. I mean, it's just clicking and just hurting people. It's not too bad. I mean, you can use the wizard to make, to, you can, like, drop boxes on people's heads. You can also do that and stick it to them, but I'm going to go ahead and see. Now you got this wall up here, and I'm going to want to break that with the hammer. And then the hammer's going to come flying back to me like it's, uh, like I'm Thor and this is Mjolnir. Uh, let's see here. Maybe I can use the... Ah, you see this? So that's a grappable area. I can swing by controlling it with my mouse. Out, out, and I'm hurting myself for no reason. Let's see if I can. And I'm dead. Okay, let's go ahead and get back here and restore the lives. There really is no true. There's not a huge like failure state in this game. You just kind of die and you go pick another character. Um, now, I don't know what I want to do. I'm thinking I need to make the wizard put a box here. And I need to come up. There we go. All right, now I'm on the platform. And then I'm going to use the warrior 
here to charge and jump. There we go. Now the charge is an ability you get, but you can also use other things in the game. Whoa. Whoa. I could probably use the, uh, the mage too. Yep. Okay. So here. Not sure what I need to do. I think I need to. I think I've been here before. So I need to just throw the hammer up at like the right angle. And that's gonna take a while. There we go. And I just grab this object as the mage. Uh, and you can just switch. You just switch it between uh, each different character. Uh, just using like one, two, or three. Or you can use, um, I believe it's uh, F, Q, I can't remember. Uh, either way, uh, you just go ahead and switch. Go ahead and do something. We're going to go and I'm gonna make a platform. There we go. And what's cool about this game is that there's a lot of different um, non conventional ways you can solve a puzzle. You don't always have to solve it in this certain way, you can play it in a different fashion. Uh, and so, if it's just if it's a good timing and the right set of platforms, you can actually solve a puzzle very well. Uh, as you can see, the enemies are very much uh, controlled by physics as well. You can stand on them, see? You can stomp on them. Oh, I can stomp on the edge, like those Goombas. And of course, the music is just great. The music's just great to listen to. So we're going to go ahead and use the road here to, and you can extend and, ah, oh, darn it. Oh, let's see if I can, you know, let's just go up in the bucket and we'll use the mage to swing myself. Oh, damn it. Oh, I, oh my gosh. That was dumb. Oh, I don't have my mage. I don't have the uh, road character now. I can just build a platform here. Let's go up. Up. And of course, the mage can destroy your creations. I don't know how that didn't hurt me. I don't even know what's up there. Oh, there's some stuff that I need. Okay, well now I can... Uh, sometimes you'll be stuck for for a while trying to figure out how you're gonna get somewhere. Oh, hey, look at that! Oh my God! I cannot believe I'm dying like this. Oh, hey. I didn't even know I could hook onto this. <laughs> oh my gosh, do I suck. Let's just go ahead and move. Oh, there we go. Before I fail any harder. If, of course, if you lose all three of your characters, you're just going to go back to the last checkpoint, which is usually going to be one of these. Uh, but this is the game. I wonder if I can get maybe some sort of boss going on. Or... Oh, let's go ahead and... I think this is rock Yeah! So, in this game, you collect these things, these experience orbs, okay? Or orbs, glasses, or whatever you're doing. Uh, and as you collect them, if, once you get up to 50, you can get a skill point. And then you start get spending these skill points in different uh, trees for them. And you can just get all sorts of stuff. Like this one will allow you to actually throw your hammer. This one let causes your hammer to make an explosion. Uh, over here, the mage, you can now make two conjured items instead of just one. So you can like make up to four. You can make planks. 
uh, and so it just helps out with the game itself. Um, but it's all completely optional. But the more that you explore, the better chance you have of gaining more XP, which of course then makes the game uh, a lot easier uh, because you'll have a lot more abilities. Let's see if I can place a thing here and jump and oh yeah. Is there anything up here? I don't think there's any way for me to. Yeah, I don't think there's any way for me to get up there. That's fine. Let's go ahead. I think we're just going to do this and it drains it. I guess not. I don't. I don't know what's going on here. Come on, get out of your hole. Come on, get out of your hole. Well, I think that's a lost cause. I don't really know what to do, but that's okay. Uh, basically, the whole idea is to just keep going right. Um, I can't remember, I think it's about $15 on Steam, but I would definitely pick it up if you see it on sale. Uh, and even if not, man, I mean, this game, just look at it. Just, it's so good. It's just such a fun game that, you know, knows exactly what it wants to do. Uh, so, let's see if I can get some more combat here. I, can, uh, I guess that's nothing. So what do I need to do to get over here? I think I need to throw my hammer? Nope, that is not right. Uh, do I need to use my mage for something? What's going on here? Okay, so the box is sick. That's... Oh, I think I need to use my barrel. There we go. this and does it drain the water the other way it does see I'm so smart SMRT um, can I make a box to plug it I guess not Down here, maybe. Can I get down here? Ugh. You know, I need to get that barrel out. I think I have to get those barrels out. So let's go ahead and do that. I mean, hell, if anything, you should just pick this game up just because of this. Just because of how awesome it looks. Come on, can I move this? And then force this out. I don't know what I'm trying to accomplish actually. I kind of wish I could see below that. Let's 
see, I can't. I can't seem to push farther than this platform here. You know what? I guess I'm not going to be able to solve this puzzle for a while. I'll, I'll try to figure it out later. But this just kind of gives you an idea of what exactly you're expecting when you get to try. This is actually one of the darker, kind of more depressing parts of the game. But uh, the rest of the game is actually extremely beautiful. Uh, it usually takes place outside, and it's usually daytime, too. So it just looks so good. Uh, and it's definitely, a, uh, it's definitely really nice on the eyes. So... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, of course, leave a like. Uh, please comment. I always like the feedback. Uh, and if you're new to this channel, click subscribe. You'll be able to see all sorts of cool stuff. I'll see you guys later. Bye.